Hey, what's up, guys? So I was frequently getting asked the question if the WF-2850 can be used for sublimation printing. So I went ahead and got one, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I set it up for sublimation printing. Now, the process for this is very similar to the WF-2860, so I'm going to move pretty quick and not hit as many details as I did in the 2860 video. But I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So we're just going to set up the printer by following the instructions on the start here documentation that comes with the printer up to step number four. We're going to unpack it, turn it on and configure it, install the ink cartridges that came with it, and load some regular copy paper in the back tray. I start with copy paper so that when we run the calibration and later the purge file, I'm not wasting the more expensive sublimation paper. We're going to set up the Wi Fi on the printer. And after that is done, we'll go to the Epson website to download and install the driver. We'll search for our model and click support. We'll download and run the driver. Make sure you uncheck auto update and continue installing the driver. Once the driver setup is complete, I'm going to set up my printing presets. Again, not going to go into a lot of detail here as this process is the same in the more detailed 2860 video. Once we finish setting that up, we'll install the chipless firmware. So in order to install the chipless firmware, we need to go to inkchip.net. And here, from here, we're going to go to the soft menu here, which is the software. I'm going to scroll down till we get to our model, which is the 2850, and we're going to download the firmware. Now, I like to create a folder on my desktop so I can keep everything in one spot. So we'll go here and we'll create a new folder. And we'll call it 2850 chipless something like that all right so we'll go ahead and download the firmware into our chipless folder hit save there we'll let that download okay so once it's finished downloading what we'll do is we'll go to the file uh, we'll right click on it and extract it now if you're not you I'm using pzip but if you have like WinZip or just the um, the default uh, Windows extractor, you can just right click on it and just go to extract. We'll extract it here. It's going to create a new folder. And it's going to have the same exact name, except it's going to be a folder. So we'll double click this and we're going to down uh, double click the uh, inkchip.net firmware 2850. We'll click on yes for that, and then it's gonna uh, open or launch a uh, firmware updater. Um, once we get to that first screen, we'll go ahead and click on next, click agree, click next, and it's gonna tell you that it needs to be done via the USB cable. All right, so now that we got the USB cable plugged in, we'll click on next. Okay, so if you get this screen say, where it says uh, USB uh, downgraded, it cannot be updated. Um, what you have to do is install the firmware in, in what's called update firmware update mode. You have to do that manually on the printer. Okay, so first thing you want to do is turn the printer off. The printer off, and uh, click on yes. Okay, so we're going to hold down the cancel, down arrow, the left arrow, and then we're going to click the hold down the power button. We're going to hold that down until you get into the Epson printer update mode or firmware update mode. Okay, so now that we got the printer in update mode, we can just hit back here. 
and it will hit next again with it in firmware update mode now it's going to pop up with USB unknown so we'll go ahead and highlight this and click on start and click yes and then it's going to write the firmware and what will happen is once it gets up to a hundred percent it's going to tell you that the firmware has been downloaded to your printer and to wait for the printer to turn off automatically now it probably won't turn off automatically it'll more than likely give you a message saying that it's finished just press the OK button to turn it off and then press the power button to turn it back on all right so once we turn the power back on we've that means that we've completed installing the chipless firmware uh, file so what we need to do to confirm that we can just click finish here and then we'll run it again and when you run it this time click next it's going to tell you it's the same version and it's this version bl 5 k 3 so that means that the chipless firmware um, has been written to the printer but it still needs to be activated so what we need to do is go back to inkchip.net and we need to download the activation file for the 2850 so here's the down uh, the activation download so we'll go ahead and click on that and then we'll save that to our uh, 2850 files we'll go back to that there we go go back to our active uh, chipless firmware folder and we'll double click on the activation we're going to click on more info here and we're going to click on run anyway now once this pops up it's going to update itself and by connecting to the server and updating the software it's going to get to 100 percent and then it's going to ask you to rerun the uh rerun the program so we'll click ok it's going to close out and then we'll just simply double click activation again and this time it's going to pop up and it's going to tell you that the current version is the latest. So once we do that, you should be able to see your 2850 connected to your USB port here. Um, and once we do that, we can go ahead and uh, purchase our key so that we can activate it. And what we need to do is go back to inkchip.net and we're going to go to our cart. I'm sorry, we're going to go to buy and then we're going to go down to uh, workforce series here and we're going to click on our model which is the 2850 so click 2850 here uh, this uh, particular firmware is going to cost us thirty dollars so we'll click on add to cart and you'll see up here the uh, item has been added to the cart so we can go to our cart to check out and when you get to the checkout screen if you go down to your coupon code you can type in the word gorilla and you'll save 10% at the checkout here so once we apply it you'll see that you save three bucks and it's twenty seven dollars so we'll proceed to checkout okay so once you get done completing your checkout you'll get a code from inkchip which is going to be your activation code so what you want to do is go back to your chipless firmware uh, folder and we're going to create a document so we'll right click we're going to create new uh, select new here and then we're going to create a text document and this is our activation key or code So we open that up and we're just going to paste our key here and this way we'll uh, always know where it is. Alright, so we'll save that and now we go back to our um, activation tool 
our activation program and then we're going to create uh, I'm sorry we're going to select activate online and it's going to ask you to input your SN or your serial number so we'll go ahead and paste our activation code and click OK now remember it has to be connected to the USB uh, to the printer via the USB cable so we'll click on OK and it just went ahead and uh, it's, it went ahead and wrote the code to the uh, printer so now it's permanently chipless at this point so I can click OK here once we click OK I'm gonna go ahead and copy this activation code so if anything was to ever happen like if I was to uh, update the firmware or if I had a firmware issue where um, I lost the ability to uh, remain chipless I can copy this code I'm just gonna paste it into my activation key um, text message that we just made or text uh, document that we just made and we're gonna put in recovery code and we're gonna paste that recovery code that generated uh, by the activation tool here so now that we got this saved here somewhere safe we can save that and close out of this and um, in order to complete the process uh, off screen I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the power off and turn the printer back on this will permanently write the firmware to the printer and complete the chipless firmware install once the chipless firmware has been installed we can go ahead and replace the original cartridges with our refill cartridges We'll fill and prime our cartridges. And since we don't need them, we'll remove these chip holders. When you leave them in, they can get snagged on the gold pins and possibly break them. So to remove them, you just pull them back and then slide them down and off the cartridge. I'll go ahead and do a cartridge change by going into the maintenance menu. Once I've replaced the cartridges, I'll run a few head cleanings and then purge files until I get a good nozzle check. Now the printer is set up for sublimation printing. I'll print off a few items to make sure that my colors are dialed in. And there you go, sublimation printing on the WF2850. I'll be adding assist to this model and I'll throw another link in the description for instructions on that. I hope you guys liked the video and if you haven't, go ahead and thumbs up and subscribe to help out the channel. And until next time, good luck and good night.